Some call it crazy. Some call it an addiction. Others say I'm insane. I call it love. This is winter golf. And that's one way to start. Hook off to the left. I think I was just gauging how much it would hurt my hands if I were to thin the shot or if I were to take a divot. I was making business choices here. And speaking of business choices, I was trying to make the smart decision by just punching out, but take a look at this awesome, awesome kick. You can say I was a little bit unlucky, but I found myself in the middle of the fairway, about 50 yards, had a lob wedge in hand, pitched onto the green and it only bounced like 10 feet into the air. It really did feel like I was playing on cement. Nothing was going to stick on the green. Nor was my putting going to be any good. Tap and double. Hole 2 is a 333 yard dog leg left. Pretty short. I pushed my drive out to the right but felt like it was really good contact. Find myself in the right rough. Have myself a sand wedge in hand about 104 yards and literally just trying to get this onto the front of the green hoping that it'll stay on which it does luckily but this is a very very large green complex and this putt here I'm just trying to get up and down this ridge this really was a speed putt I gauged that really well and this is a stress free par I don't get to say that too often hole 3 344 yards pretty straight away hit myself a nice little hooker that hits the middle of the fairway but this rolled for maybe another 70 yards or so the grounds are absolutely frozen 120 yards, I club up, grab myself a pitching wedge, and I push this out to the right and land into a frozen bunker. Yes, frozen bunker. So essentially, I just try to chip this on, playing on ice, rolls past the pin onto the fringe, leaving myself short-sided downhill. Trying to be very delicate here, rolls past the pin, leaving myself about 6-7 feet for bogey. Just misread that, leaving myself with the double. At this point, I'm starting to realize everything I know about golf when you play in the winter, you just throw it out the window. Yardages, screw that. You're going to take two clubs extra at a minimum. And everything you're playing on is going to be absolute concrete. So sticking on the green is not a choice. You have to leave things short or let it fly up in the air. I find myself with a par putt here. This was great speed. Good lag putt. I am happy with the bogey here after that shot off the tee. 5 over through 4, we are on the 5th, 379 yards, a slight dog leg to the right. I push this one and I find myself kind of blocked out by these trees um, on my approach out here. So I'm just trying to take my medicine, punch out. I hit about 4 inches behind the ball, but luckily the bunkers are frozen. So I actually bounce out of the bunker, leaving myself about 127 yards, pitching wedge in hand. Trying to leave this intentionally short, not that short, because I chunk that. And like I said, playing on concrete. Now this putt here was going downhill, everything was breaking to the right, but I really underread this putt, leaving myself with a about five footer up the hill for double. Confident. Par 5, 514 yards, and here is the worst tee shot of the day. Absolutely sliced that out into the trees. Took a drop here. Shot 3 with my hybrid. Top that, just let that thing scurry along the ground. Visibly frustrated, leaving myself 240 yards. Have myself a 5 iron looking to just lay up. Slice that into the trees, find myself in more trouble here. And again, taking my medicine, just punching out. This was a great shot, probably the best one of the hole. I have a 58 yard little delicate chip on trying to get this in front of the green but left it short. I'm short sighted here trying to play a little flop shot. I was like what the hell and check this out. That pitched right next to the hole. I don't even care that I missed this putt for triple and I ended up with the quad here but that was an amazing, amazing flop shot. Following that amazing quad on the scorecard with a push fade out to the right here, par 4, 337 yards. Find myself on top of this mound, it was a really funky lie and I ended up just hosel shanking this. Luckily it stayed out of the trees here, 
I have myself about 52 yards sandwich. I was just gonna keep this low. It pitched out on the green, but it rolled off to the other tee box for the next hole, leaving myself another delicate little pitch, which goes all the way to the back of the green again. And I have myself a long 60 footer for bogey. Again, another speed putt here. And this was the best putt of the day. Tap and double. Par three, 142 yards. I have myself an eight iron. The only goal here was to pitch it onto the middle of the green, which it does, but it does roll off to the back. So I'm putting from the fringe here. I have myself about, I think it was about 35 feet down the hill. It broke off to my left, camera right. I left that really short. I have myself about another seven, eight feet here. And I just pulled that off to the left. Finishing off the front nine, we have a 342 yard par four. At this point, I'm 14 over, so I'm just trying to have some fun understanding how to play in the winter, which I will never figure out. But I pounded this drive. This left myself 59 yards, and I skull one off the back of the green, leaving myself bunker trouble, frozen bunker trouble. So I'm just essentially just chipping this on as if I'm just playing off the fringe here, where this rolls downhill, but it did not break off to the right that I thought it would. So I have myself a putt for par about nine feet here and just rolls off to the left. Got myself a bogey. Now at this point I'm 15 over, but this round was the epitome of the tale of two halves. Starting with this great drive off the tee, that was a perfect draw. It just rolled off into the right rougher, but that was confidence inspiring. Leaving myself with 77 yards, put myself a confidence swing only to chunk it, leaving myself with a chip on for birdie. I have a pitching wedge here. I decided to not lob anything onto the green, but this also was a frozen fairway. And I have myself a putt for par. 15 feet here, left that short. Have myself a three footer for bogey and we're out. Now this was a cool hole. 150 yards playing downhill. I was playing into the wind. Had myself an eight iron. I thought I put a really good swing on here, but it was just a little bit short off to the right. So I'm looking at this upslope pitch here and I was a little bit scared about putting anything in the air and landing it onto the green so I tried to get it on the green as soon as possible was successful in that shot leaving myself a puff for par but again left that short had myself about three feet for bogey here and I sink that we're moving on to the next hole so prior to this tee shot I spent about five minutes just trying to get my tee in the ground but I gave up trying to get it to the right height in hindsight that was a terrible idea because I ended up skying this ball leaving me with this awkward shot with the ball below my feet but playing uphill. Ended up topping that, only rolls out about what 50 yards or so. Not even 50, maybe about 20 yards. Leaving myself with the same shot, I have a six iron here. This one plays downhill and I pitches on to the front of the green hoping that it'll roll up and it rolls up pin high and I have myself a putt for par which just slides past the hole. Didn't leave it short so I can't be mad. Leave myself a bogey. Hole 13. 364 yards. This is a slight dog leg right and I ended up hooking this behind this tree here and I have about 170 yards or so. This plays a little bit downhill, six iron in hand and I hit an absolute laser. It lands right in front of the green and it rolls up next to the pin. I have a puff for birdie and this is about 15 feet down the hill. I took a lot of time here and it just broke a little bit more than I anticipated leaving myself this little knee knocker for four feet for par. Now confidence in my veins, I set up to this ball here on the 14th tee, envisioning this perfect little draw which I execute to perfection. And this is a par five dogleg right. It plays a little bit downhill, but there's no chance that I'm actually gonna get on into. So take my hybrid, just try to get to the dogleg, pull this a little bit to the left, but that's fine. It leaves me a good number in, 170 yards going downhill, but first, I try to avoid getting crapped on by these massive group of geese. Reload, reline up, execute a perfect shot, 170 yards going downhill. Again, this rolls up to the front of the green. I'm trying to play everything short here. I have a putt for birdie. This is a green in regulation for your boy. Now this is about three feet. I have myself a putt for par and we're out. Par three, 146 yards straight away. The wind started to pick up here, so I have an eight iron. I ended up fading this way too far to the right. Luckily, I missed the bunkers. Trying to chip onto this frozen tundra that is the green is almost an impossible task. So my goal here was just to get this right over the bunkers, 
hopefully it'll just roll up to the pin but this ends up rolling past the pin comes down the hill a little bit and this green is a little tough one it has a large break here to my left so i'm just trying to carry it over this little ledge here let it trickle down but it just stayed on top a little bit leaving myself a tough putt for bogey and i sink it short part four just over 300 yards i dream of the day i can say this is drivable but we're playing downwind all i was envisioning was a little draw and it hit the best drive of the day right in the middle leaving myself 57 yards i have a lob wedge here and this actually sticks on the green surprisingly and i have a puffer birdie i really wanted this and i was a little sad i'm not gonna lie hole 17 gettable par 5 in july but not a chance in these frigid temperatures i'm just trying to keep this ball in play and i hit a great drive and it leaves me just over 260 yards i have a hybrid here I push this out to the right. I normally miss left, but I'm not even mad at this shot because this gets the best kick of its life down the car path, leaving myself with a short pitch in about 50 yards. And I absolutely do not take advantage of that situation. Chunk the pitch onto the green. And I'm visibly frustrated here, disappointed with that opportunity. So I am pitching on for birdie, trying to keep this low on the ground. I had myself a pitching wedge here. I was hoping it would roll out a little bit more. My puff for par here, I did get it up to the cup, but that is a tap and bogey. Finishing hole, 420 yards, par 4, dogleg right. This plays uphill and then flattens out for the approach, and I was really feeling confident with my driver at this point, so I just let one rip. That rolls through the fairway, I had myself a 9 iron, I was playing into the wind at this point. I push that out to the right, it ends up in the frozen bunker, and it's impossible to slide my club under this, so I ended up pitching it onto the green. Actually, no, chipping it onto the green, just letting it roll up here. My puffer par goes downhill, and this was breaking to the right. And it gave myself a chance here. Just missed it, going back up the hill four feet. And just to save the suspense here, I did sink this in for bogey. But now, what did we learn today? Winter golf is absolutely not like July golf. And I'm very, very impressed with the way that it bounced back. 42 on the back nine, so if I'm thinking about doing these two times together, that's an 84 potentially. Hopefully I get there. Hopefully.